Hello, welcome to Gomez Integrated Farm YouTube channel. Today's video is an update from our greenhouse. And <clears throat> we're talking about some things to consider when you want to go into uh, snail farming, for that matter, using uh, the greenhouse method. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> If you using a greenhouse, you might be thinking of planting um, some few crops that will be uh, serving as shade and uh, as food for the snails. Some plants like cocoa yam, sweet potato, uh, banana, or dwarf plantain, uh, papa. Sometimes you, you would want to plant uh, uh, dandelion, uh, also garden eggs. These are plants that snail uh, enjoy eating most. Now the, the factors or the things you need to bear in mind when you planting some of these things are, for example, um, um, potato. Potato. Um, takes like three months or almost four months to to mature and when potato matures it shed off leaves just like you are seeing even though the snails are eating but you can see the leaves are getting rotten it's because the potato is, is matured that's how come you are seeing the, the potato leaves getting rotten so once you, you're doing this in your farm, you need to make sure that there is other feed supplement that you'll be using to feed your snails in, in, in situations like this. You see the, the potato is, is becoming yellowish and the leaves are, are dying. When, when you water it frequently or when it rains, you would see that uh, fresh leaves will be coming and it will take cover of the whole place again. I think I have some portion of the farm which is already um, giving the new leaves. You can see all this place are uh, over three months old. That's how come the leaves of the potato is like that. Let me see if we, think we have some fresh. Yes, yes. A typical example is this area. You can see it look like a fresh um, potato. Now this area is is because it it um, grown and then new leaves have started sprouting. This how come you see this place so fresh. So that is what will happen to the other places as well. So bear in mind, if, if you're planting some stuff in your greenhouse, you need to also have uh, some feed supplement to cater for your snail when your, your plant is, is matured. It's matured. How tall the cocoyam are. You can see this place is also. Growing up is very new leaves, so you can see. So a couple of rains and then everything will be as fresh as as before.
the papa in the greenhouse is uh, is is fruiting. You can see. You can see it's, it's, it has started fruiting. Young papa. Also about to fruit, you can see it, it's getting ready to fruit. It's it's daytime, so I'm hardly finding the snails. They've gone into hiding. You know, snails are nocturnal animals. They like to. Uh, move in the night they are active in the night so now it's kind of uh, difficult seeing them oh I found one here I found one 